It's a first for California's central coast. It looks like we have the remains of two mammoth individuals. Timothy King is an archaeologist and anthropologist at Santa Clara University. He's one of the three team leaders excavating the remains of two Colombian mammoths, one adult and one infant. As far as I know, nothing like that had been found in Monterey County. The discovery came in December after a farmer found bones in his land while he was leveling it. First a tusk, then a molar. King was even more excited when the crew found something they had never seen before in Colombian mammoths. We're finding hair in and amongst the bones, and the appearance of the hairs the color, the thickness looks similar to woolly mammoth that has us thinking that we may have something here. The team hopes they'll be able to extract DNA from the hair, the tusk, or the bones. It would allow us to do, for example, comparisons in the family tree of how Colombian mammoths are related to woolly mammoths, how they're both related to a common ancestor. They're waiting for radiocarbon dating results that will determine how old these Colombian mammoths really are. But their best guess? The best we can say is the soil is, is Pleistocene. It's Ice Age. King and his students joined the excavation crew in Castroville early this year. Many students are working on a real archaeological site for the very first time. I've never actually had any field work or field experience. This is my first site that I've ever been on. They've been working on it for months, spending their weekends, finals week, and even their spring break. It's a really amazing atmosphere of just having everybody around to work on it. With just 20 percent of the bones unearthed, there's still plenty of digging to do. We're dealing with uh, clay soil, so it's, you have, it's a little bit harder to sift through. But no one is complaining. It's so much more rewarding than a lot of things I've done so far. And you get to feel like you're included in something bigger than just the outside research.